I am Dr. Peter Bridge. I am the academic chair of the Medical Laboratory Sciences groups. That's three programs, including Medical Laboratory Science, Diagnostic Cytology, and Genetics Technology. So all three uh, programs lead to graduates with the designation MLT. The Medical Laboratory Science is the general MLT that works in five different disciplines in mostly hospital labs, but sometimes also in private labs and research. Those disciplines are hematology, histology, uh, microbiology, transfusion science, and clinical chemistry. Right now, there is great interest in the graduates working in microbiology because of the need for huge numbers of COVID-19 testing. So the graduates of this program are currently in extremely high demand uh, to fulfill an important mission for the public. We have didactic and lab semesters first at Michener. Then before clinical placement, each program has a simulated clinical placement during the summer. And then finally, the students go to clinical sites to complete their training. At the end of that program, then the students are eligible to write the national CSMLS certification exam and then to become uh, members of the College of Medical Laboratory Technologists of Ontario with the MLT designation, which right now is so very highly prized in the workforce. It's the Medical Laboratory Science um, program which trains MLTs to work in mostly clinical labs in hospitals, but also in private labs and sometimes in research and so forth. The program is about two and a half years long. The first two years are spent at Michener. So we have a fall and winter semester in each year with theory lectures and hands-on laboratory experience. Following the completion of those two years and before students go to the clinical placements in their third year, we have a very special uh, summer semester at Michener. It's what we call the simulated clinical experience and Michener is set up uh, as close as possible to real uh, hospital labs and the students use real samples in-house and uh, learn how to go through all the use all the equipment, how to do the procedures, but in a safe environment where if they make mistakes, uh, nobody gets hurt as a consequence of this. So it's, uh, it's been shown to be a superior learning environment and the students gradually ease into the clinical workflow. And when they get to the clinical labs, they're already familiar with the, most of the procedures, how to use the equipment and have a greater level of comfort and are uh, uh, much faster getting up and going when they actually reach their clinical placements. Michener um, for labs is still open. Uh, we wear full per personal protective equipment so that uh, we can perform the hands-on skills and learning. And uh, as I walk around the labs, I will demonstrate some of this. So. We have enough space to be physically distanced, but we also have face masks, we have face shields, uh, as well as the traditional lab coats and gloves. So we can continue to operate in a very safe environment. It's actually a very good segue into real life experience in clinical settings. And uh, we are continuing to take the same number of students, as well as to be able to operate both with lectures and with hands-on laboratory experience as normal. Because of the very high demand for MLTs at the moment, the employment rate upon leaving the program is essentially 100%. And this year, uh, we're experiencing a very interesting phenomenon that our students, third year students who are out at clinical placement right now, are being asked to work additionally as medical laboratory assistants. So the clinical sites, in addition to providing the training towards the MLT program, are actually employing these individuals as very highly trained uh, lab personnel, and they're working in the MLA capacity, so the sites are actually paying them to work there as well. So that gives you an idea of the demand for this training right now. 
and as I said earlier the employment rate is essentially 100% so it's a very good career choice and uh, I emphasize career because it's not just a job it really is a career where there is a passion for what you do and you have the sense every day that you are doing something to help the public and that the people really appreciate that. So this is not immediately obvious but one of the modifications we've made in the haematology lab due to COVID-19 is here we have a double-headed microscope so that the instructor and student can both look down at the same time at the slide but we've installed a plexiglass barrier in between them so that they can sit facing each other and still see the microscope slide for instructional purposes so i'm standing in the hematology lab and uh, once again we've made the modification of simply reducing the number of available spaces so we have two student spaces on this desk that are indicated by the yellow tape so that they can sit uh, with good space in between them and also on the opposite side of the bench the students are in a sort of zigzag pattern so that there's always at least two meters between them. Um, as usual in any lab operations they're wearing the protective equipment anyway so really the modification we've made is simply putting more space in between them. Uh, we also have a microphone and speaker system set up so that the instructors uh, instead of having to go around to each student or shout out in the lab they can just simply hold a microphone here and uh, everybody can hear very clearly so this lab is part of the discipline of histotechnology which is looking at tissues and here is a this instrument is called a microtome it when it's operating it would have a special knife blade in here incredibly sharp and uh, tissue to be examined is embedded in blocks of wax in these embedding centers here and the block of wax is mounted into the microtome and moved up and down against the blade and it takes little slices through the wax and through the tissue incredibly thin slices so that you can actually see through them and then that's embedded on a microscope slide and stained and uh, look through right through the cells under microscopes so there's an incredibly sharp blade in here that can literally cut transparent slices of tissue one of the features that uh, has become very important in the COVID-19 pandemic is the actual test for COVID-19 is a genetic test identifying the RNA nucleic acid uh, in an instrument called real-time PCR. To set those tests up, you have to be skilled at what we call micro-pipetting. So this is a micro-pipetter. It has disposable tips that look like that. And by moving the plunger up and down, you can when that's in a tube, you can suck up a very small quantity of liquid and then put the correct measured amount into your test system. These pipettes are measured in microliters or one millionth of a liter. The sort of standard measurement in your kitchen, one teaspoon is about five milliliters, which would be 5,000 microliters. So, these pipettes are calibrated uh, down to a decimal of microliters to enable you to do very, very small volumes with accuracy and reproducibility. So we have a lot of training in how to use these very special instruments, both routinely in chemistry, but now also in microbiology in the viral testing uh, pathways.